वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई वांट टू शो यू द रियल इम्पैक्ट ऑफ हेट्रोसिस ऑन रूट ट्रेड्स इन राइस सो दैट यू कैन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ हेट्रोसिस ऑफ कोर्स आई एम श्योर दैट यू आर नोइंग the meaning of heterosis so this is applied science so each and every word each and every term has to be applied properly so for its application if seeing is the really believing so if you are able to see the reality you believe it and you keep in your mind forever the things to apply so let me tell you here that uh, as you know that rice is self pollinated crop where uh, exploiting heterosis is very tedious earlier it was not possible but of course with the availability of cgms system when it started the exploitation of heterosis in rice the cgm system has helped us to exploit the heterosis in rice which is self pollinated crop so here i want to uh, tell you one thing that of course you are getting heterosis on many traits while you are studying your hybrids here i want to concentrate on only one trait i want to show you that what hap what happens when you are getting the hybrids what is the performance of those hybrids uh, as compared to their parents so here i want to say that uh, fortunately when i started hybrid breeding program in 2006 here in banaras hindu university so i started with the uh work of my phd student and then after fortunately i got financial assistance by up council of agriculture research uh upkar uttar pradesh uh, lucknow so i could do something and i finally contributed uh, i developed many hybrids which were very superior to other available hybrids check hybrids and uh, fortunately i was able to be, because of the assistance the financial assistance of upkar by the upkar uh, in 2017 i could include my the first hybrid it was uh, uh, in the history of banaras hindu university that first time a hybrid rice was developed and that too was included in all india pollinated trial it performed excellent in many of the centers in the country of course it was long cylinder cylinder type grain type so but here i want to uh, tell you uh, concentrate on only one trait so that is root trait of course if you are talking about the hybrids they are definitely showing superiority over the parents and the inbred varieties if you talk about the resistance tolerance to biotic and abiotic stresses here i want to show you the capability of hybrids over the parents or inbred varieties uh, in relation to the tolerance capability uh, for drought of course as you know that drought as you know that uh, drought is one of the most serious problem abiotic problem in uh, rice cultivation the erratic behavior the monsoon you are seeing nowadays because of the impact of global warming so you have to be ready with the floods and droughts and other things other stresses abiotic even stresses other stresses so to have uh, confidence 
So majority of the hybrids are showing superiority over the parents and inbreds for biotic and abiotic stresses. So here I want to, as I said that I could get a project, project here you can see the, uh, you can close the, these are the crosses which uh, we made, we, whatever, whatever parents we were having, we crossed them with four or five uh, uh, CMS lines, particularly the PUSA 6A, then IR 58025A from IRI, PUSA 6A from IARI and many uh, IR 58025 uh, uh, and IR uh, many, uh, there were five, altogether five same systems I was having in my field in that project and I made crosses with all the available genotypes uh, with me. So more than 100 crosses were attempted to have 100 hybrids and then I uh, could see the performance of those hybrids since you are using CMS. So CGMS system comes when your male pollinator, male parent is having the restore gene in its nucleus which can suppress the impact of the uh, estrile cytoplasm. So, so altogether we could f uh, get 5-6 hybrids which were very superior. Uh, of course, I was uh, going to identify those hybrids in stress condition, particularly in drought stress. So for drought stress, of course, you should have facilities of uh, rain out shelter so that at proper time you can give the water stress to your genotypes. But since we are uh, at present, we are not having that uh, rain out shelter. So I tried to uh, impose the stress, uh, particularly at the time of re reproductive stage, which is very serious, very crucial for rice cultivation, the stress, water stress at the time of reproductive stage. So I tried try to impose that in the field as well as what I uh, did that since we are not having the uh, facility of that your uh, rain out shelter. So uh, I tried to have uh, plastic pipes which we use for irrigation purpose. So whatever my outstanding hybrids were there. So those hybrids, five, six hybrids, then their parents. I grew them in the nursery bed. Then in these pipes, two meter pipes, we cut the pipes at for two meters and then we put this proper uh, soil. And then in this uh, wooden brackets, we put the, we made the three replications. It was of course very tough. The indigenous method of testing the root. So, so altogether parents and hybrids at the time of proper time of transplanting at the stage of 21 to 25 days seedlings were uprooted from the nursery bed and two seedlings of the parents and hybrids were put in three replications two seedlings in per per hill were transplanted at the earlier at the first and then after establishment of the plants one plant was removed. So single plant we put in each hills, in each pipes. So parents and their habits were put. Now you see, in one year, yeah, it was in the field itself, natural condition. It was grown in natural condition and then we tried to put the water stress. But in one uh, uh, season, uh, there was no stress because continuous rain was throughout the season, continuous rain was there. So, not much difference we could get in the root system of parents, inbred varieties and habits. But of course, in another year, where we face the drought, then we could see the heterosis on root characteristics in rice, which I wanted to show you today. Uh, 
so what at the time of uh, after maturity we put all these pipes in the uh, pond for 2 3 days so that automatically soils should be removed and then whatever left the without destroying the uh, root we could get the total root of the plants of all hybrids as well as the parents and check varieties so here i want to show you the this is the next advanced stage root testing and then we put in the uh, lab then we got the roots now you see here the root characteristics of parents and hybrids i want to show here the susk samrat you can see the parents here yeah 79 okay come to this uh 79 dante sorry okay you see here now let me show you i r i r yeah this this was the cms line a line yeah thoda sa dikha na i r 79156a this was female then it was crossed by it was crossed by uh male known as danteswari see the danteswari see the root characteristic of danteswari this is the root of one plant which was grown in the pipes see this is the the pollen was taken from this plant danteswari and this ir 7956a same as line was pollinated whatever seed we got a plant was grown and you see the root characteristic how long it is during the uh, water stress situation so see the capability of hybrids see the capability of hybrids not only in one hybrid whatever hybrids i was having the superior hybrids 100 hybrids was made developed and finally 5 6 hybrids were very superior over all the parents checks and hybrids so as i said that i'm concentrating on only root trait heterosis in rice so this is one hybrid hybrid of IR seven nine five six A and Dante Swari. This was one situation. Now you see the another hybrid, a uh, Susk Samrat. Okay. Now you see the Pusa six A. The IR five uh, IR seven nine one five six A was the uh iri uh, iri uh, 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 cms line a line from iri and this is you see pusa 6a pusa 6a is the cms line uh, developed by iari new delhi long back and i was uh, i used that as female and i used susk samrat as a male you see the susk samrat i pollinated this plant with this sus samrat male and then what we got you see the characteristic of this hybrid hybrid of pusa 6a cross with sus samrat now you see the root characteristics you see at the time of water stress root 
roots tries to explore water from deeper and deeper and deeper. So the genotype which is able to go more deeper, they can stand, they can tolerate the stress. They can explore the water from deeper soil also. So this is the situation when I put the water stress in these habits and parents. So this is the situation of male parent, this is inbred variety and this is the CMS line Pusa 6A and this is its F1 hybrid. So I am showing you the heterosis on only one trait. On many traits you are getting heterosis on yield also because of that high yielding uh, hybrid. I could develop 5-6 hybrids. Now you see the another. Yeah, this, this was the excellent performance in drought condition you are getting. So another. So I am <laughs> preserving uh, roots of original roots of 2-3 crosses. Now you see another cross was made with the Pusa 6 uh, A. Pusa 6 A was crossed with the CMS line. It was again crossed with this uh, URG. It was a local collection which was upland rice collection from Uttar Pradesh. You see this. So this was Pusa 6 A was pollinated by this URG. 5 local. Now you see here also. The F1 hybrid of Pusa 6 A and URG 5. Here also you see the root characteristics. This is going deeper and deeper. So I wanted to show you the real picture of uh, heterosis, the impact of heterosis on root characteristics in case of rice. Thanking you very much.